hello everybody today i'm going coming to you to do um a peach barbecue sauce and basically all the ingredients that we will need to make this recipe ketchup red wine vinegar balsamic vinegar um new orleans seasoning brown sugar of course you need your measuring utensils i had um did three peaches and then some New Orleans seasoning. So what we're going to do is cut the peaches in half and dice them. You can take the skin off. That's your choice. Um, to me, it's a little too time consuming. So what we're going to do now is cut the peaches in half. Okay, so now that we have cut the peaches in half, what we're going to do, we're going to remove the seed out of them. And then we're going to um, dice them up. Okay, now that we have removed the seeds out of them, let's start dicing. Okay, so what we're going to do now, I'm just going to show you how you're going to cut the pieces in the slices. Now we need to rinse them off, so what we're going to do now is start putting everything into a um, mixing bowl to prepare the um, rest of the recipe. What we're going to do is measure out one cup, full cup of ketchup. Okay, so now that you got your full cup of ketchup, what we're going to do is pour it inside the mixing bowl. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is put one tablespoon of Creole seasoning but I'm using New Orleans style seasoning I think it should be the same thing so we're gonna get that in there then next we're gonna do 12 tablespoons of um, brown sugar that equals up to three-fourths cup of brown sugar so we're doing 12 tablespoons of brown sugar that's going to be equivalent to three-fourths cups of brown sugar so let's do that okay out of all 12 of the tablespoons of brown sugar we needed this is the final one okay what we need is one third cup of balsamic vinegar And this is the brand of balsamic vinegar that I'm using. There are other different brands, but this is the one I decided to get. So now we're going to dump that off into our mixture. Then we need one third cup of um, red wine. And once again, this is the same brand that I use for my um, balsamic vinegar. Okay, so we're going to pour it in here. And 
we're gonna put that in there. Okay, so therefore we have did we have did one cup of ketchup. I did three peaches. Now we're going to the um Chipotle peppers. And basically you put as much as you want to season it to your taste. The hotter you want, the more um peppers and things you put in. And this is the brand that I chose to use for the Chipotle um sauce in the ooh. I think you put the ounce that abdubi sauce. And so um the recipe it calls for one to two peppers, but we're gonna use this. Up the um can, it's something that looks like this. And so I'm gonna put two of these in there. so that I won't waste this what I'm gonna do is put it inside a ziploc bag and um put it in a refrigerator or I may no what I'm gonna do is go ahead and freeze it so it won't go bad so what I'm about to do is tell you everything once again what I'll put in here so what we used is we use um one can of freshly ground pepper can in the Chipotle Chipotle I'll do sauce abu or however you say it sauce then one cup of ketchup, three or four peaches, um, three-fourths cups of brown sugar, one-third cup of balsamic vinegar, one-third cup of red wine, one tablespoon of butter. I still have to add that. And then I substitute Creole seasoning for the New Orleans seasoning. Uh, seasoning. You can get that from um, Family No Dollar Tree. That's where I got it from. And, um... So all I still have to do is add the one tablespoon of butter. Once we do all that, this was only a mixing bowl just so it won't, you know, you can see barrel better what I'm all mixing together. So we're going to plug, pour this inside our blender and mix it up until it's all the way smooth. And basically, based off the recipes that I see online, that you can save this sauce up to one month in a refrigerator but you can freeze it and make it last longer so it depends on how often you want to use this sauce or anything like that so i'm gonna go get the butter i'm gonna put that go ahead and put the butter inside the blender then i'm going to pour all the sauce and seasoning that we use and then also i'm gonna add the pe peaches and we're going to blend that until it's completely smooth so let's go ahead and do the final touches on this Okay, you see the butter in there, so we're going to pour in all our other ingredients. And I'm going to get a spatula to get the rest of that out, so I'll be right back. Okay, so once you have put everything inside your blender, it should look a little something like this. And I'm going to start off by going to the high speed. <laughs> Okay, um, I'm not sure what went on with my blender. It smelled like it started burning, so I was like, okay, I'm just not use that. So what I'm going to do is use an alternate, and we're going to blend it up with a blender. <laughs> 